investigative reporter, executive vice president of The Hill, John Solomon. John, why don't we go through what you have? It's too much to digest. I mean, you got 450 <laughs> new documents. Uh, yeah. Let's go through the few that we can. We'll put them on the screen for our viewers. Okay. So uh, let's start with something that's important about this. There is a media narrative that is false. How do we know it's false? Because the documents I possess show it is false. So let's start with one of my favorites. Uh, this was Katie Terror on Friday night and many others across the weekend said there is no evidence that the Ukraine embassy was ever asked for help in Washington to help the Democratic National Committee. In fact, Katie Turr called it on NBC News. She called that Russian propaganda, that claim. Now, you showed the Politico article. I have a statement from the Ukrainian embassy in Washington on the record from their sitting ambassador in Washington that, in fact, Alexandra Chalupa, the uh, DNC contractor, came to the Ukraine embassy in spring 2016 and asked for help in finding dirt on Donald Trump in hopes of staging a congressional right. hearing to hurt Donald Trump in the fall election of 2016. That is the Ukraine embassy's on-the-record statement. In addition, they state that uh, Ms. Chalupa also asked for the Ukraine president to visit the United States and, and spend time with an investigative reporter trying to turn up dirt on Donald Trump and Paul Manafort. What did the embassy do? They say they recognized this request for what it was, an improper effort to influence the election, and they refused to cooperate with Ms. Chalupa. That is a very important deny that's a very important confirmation of something that the rest of the media is calling a tinfoil hat conspiracy. It's on the record. It's in Politico. It's we on the embassy's own words. We, I mean, it's pretty devastating. We got about yeah. 90 more seconds, and you brought these other documents. I want people to understand it. Sure. So let's go to uh, Shokin's uh, uh, deposition. So uh, uh, Mr. Shokin was a general prosecutor. Shokin is Ukraine. the prosecutor that got fired by Biden. By Biden, absolutely. And remember, Joe Biden's stories, it had nothing to do with Burisma, uh, even though he knew that uh, the prosecutor was looking at Burisma. Mr. Shokin says emphatically in his uh, sworn deposition under the penalty of perjury, under oath, that, in fact, he was told he was fired because he refused to stand down in the Burisma investigation. That is the only reason he was fired. He was told that by Ukraine's president. That is a complete contradiction of what uh, everything Joe Biden has said. So we last have to find question, out which John. of these two men are telling the truth. When the, when, when the mob says this is all, that none of this is proven, no, uh, without mm -hmm. any evidence, um, they're lying, aren't they? They are. It's, it pains me to say that because I believe in the good of journalism. But no, I can journalism's tell you. Journalism's dead, John. I, told, I well, said that in 07. I won't, I won't accept that. I'm going to keep committing journalism. And I think tomorrow night what we can do is go through some of the eight or ten biggest lies and show people the proof moment by moment, step by step. All right. So tomorrow we're going to give you the eight to ten biggest lies about the DNC, Hillary's campaign, colluding with Ukraine.